Hello and welcome back with another space video and today we are on Asteria X and this is our server slash project I've been following for like almost over a year now. Zeke the owner has been developing on this project for a long time. The server is up and running and he asked me if I could do a server tour slash showcase it a little bit around and that's what we're going to be doing today as well as host the juicy giveaway. So we're gonna have three winners to encourage you boys to give this server a try. So the first one's gonna get two M boxes, the second one two super mystery boxes, and the third one's gonna have 250 uh, donator points bond, which equals to $25. And yeah, all you have to do is like the video, comment, and give name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. As you can see, this server is a pre C slash like uh, a server you guys might have not seen recently on my channel because I have been playing a lot of old school RuneScape servers slash a lot of custom servers and it's actually been a while since we've recorded the video on a pre-EOC server. So these are the items you guys will be starting with and we're gonna be banking all of this bad boys right here. I'm gonna show you guys really quick the home area before we're gonna go all into all the teleports. So over here we have the estate agent where you guys can do buy your house for the construction. Also, all these skills are fully working. So that means engineering, summoning, everything is fully working on the server. If we go here, we're gonna have all the different shops that you guys can find. And over here, we have two portals where you guys can PK each other. It's like a dangerous portal where you're gonna lose all your stuff and the safe portal where you're gonna keep your items. So that's pretty much all of the Homer, very traditional one, I would say. Over here, thieving stalls, and in the back, you guys will be able to uh, go into the Grand Exchange, where you can buy and sell items as well as the bank. Very quick interface-wise, over here, you find all the different information about the server. Here we have 63 unique achievements that you guys can grind in order to get yourself the completion escape. There's daily tasks. If you click on this little interface here, as you can see here, kill tank house, for example, you're gonna get yourself a small XP lamp. There's also a cool interface in the left corner, event, boss, and reward. So in this one, we have a different tier. So tier 1, for example, is 30,000 points. If you achieve that, you're going to get all these different things. If you hit 250,000 points, you're going to claim the tier 2. And there's also a tier 3, 1.5 million points in order to get yourself all these juicy rewards over here. To teleport around, you guys can use the mage book. So over here, we have combat teleports, uh, skill teleports, mini games, etc, etc, etc. So we're going to start with the combat ones. Over here, we have a bunch of different NPCs, less Slayer. Uh, teleport so for example start from rock crabs and you can go all the way all the different dungeons We have revenant caves all the dangerous teleports right here I'm not gonna go too much in depth of all of that you guys will check that out when you log in for the first time and Yeah, so most of that as you can see is dangerous. So that's wilderness teleports and then we also have a bunch of other ones scaling wise uh, As we can see here for each skill you just click on anything you want to do for example fishing Let's go and have a look at what the fishing teleport looks like on a stereo. So this beautiful port over here and we are going to have all the different uh, fishing spots that we need on here. Next up, city teleports. Very straightforward. All the different cities this server has to offer. Mini game teleports is actually pretty cool. Um, so, Barrows, Castle Wars, Fight Caves, Free for All. Uh, free for All, Dangerous, Mage Arena, Pass Control, Warrior Skill, Puro Puro, Infinite Floors. Uh, the Inferno is also added to the game. I'm not really sure how to find it though. There might be a teleport for that one. But I've seen that has been added very, very lately. That was like literally a week ago. As we can see in the uh, update thread over here, that was on the 2nd of February. So, three weeks ago. A lot of different updates has been added, so it's actually very, very sick. Virago has been added to the game, Realism Mode has been added. There's everything in the, just the past month is actually very insane. Prestige Mode, there are some custom pads over here, so upgradable pads. So a lot of amazing content that has been added towards the game. Upgrade System item has been released, Column Column Upgrade. I'm going to be showcasing that in just a moment as well. And also the shops has been updated, for example. So talking about uh, upgrades, there we go, column, column update, upgrades, we can find all the different whips you guys can make, so beautiful interface as well, so for example, the tentacle, uh, tentacle wine whip U, to get that one, you just need a vine whip as well as 250,000 upgrade tokens, you have a chance of 50% to do this, and so as we can see, there's a bunch of different weapons, dude, Scythe of Witcher U, what the heck bro, that is actually pretty sick, 1 million and a Scythe of Witcher to get this, 50% chance of this, not too bad, and oh my god, Zarutbo, one of, oh, I love this item so much. 500k as well as Zarutbo in order to get Zarutbo U. And yeah, you can just play yourself around this to see all the different items. You can also get Draigor up items upgraded. That is so freaking cool, dude. Well, back to the teleports. Uh, let's have a look into the boss teleports. Oh shit, select the boss to teleport. So we have the avatar boss right here. I like the interface, not gonna lie. So we always have the, like, the description of the boss. So combat level, health, difficulty. Kill count, etc. Also, the unique drops, for example, this bad boy is dropping the Zaradomin Halo, Zaradomin Bow as well as Zaradomin Sword, uh, the Boric over here. 
and we have the Callisto Chaos Elemental, and uh, it's, it's actually not changing the the uh, the the model, but it's okay. Uh, Corporal Beast, straightforward. Dagon King's God Wars. You can choose between all of the God Wars, of course. Calfight Queen, King Black Dragon, Kraken, next boss on here as well. I love this so much, dude. Twelve pieces, Pernix as well as Virtus. Uh, Calfight Queen. Sorry, we already have that. King Black Dragon, Kraken. Nightmare boss as well on the server with the entire Inquisitor set. That's actually pretty cool. I would say let's go have a look into the uh, Nightmare boss really quick. And of course, there's like event boss with a brand new rare items as well. So that is the Nightmare boss over here. So this is the entrance, the magic barrier. And if we go in, we can find the Nightmare boss. He literally just one shot me. But bro, look at that, dude. He looks so freaking good, dude. Oh my god. Next on the list is the Nomad boss right here with the Karasi sword and a different capes. Then we have the Queen Black Dragon as well on the server. Holy freaking shit, that is pretty neat, dude. I would say let's go and teleport to this bad boy. So we can have a look into it. And here it is. It's actually the Phoenix Cave, dude. Oh my god, we literally got one shot. Wait, let's teleport back again. Alright, we're back in. Let's run in very quick. I want to have a look on it, please. Before we actually die. And he did not one shot me, but it's actually just the hand. Oh my god. Oh my fucking lord, dude. Look at this hand. That is crazy, dude. Oh my freaking lord. So we have that one also on a stereo, boys. And uh, then we have the Revenant Corporal Beast with the Cursed Spirit Shield as well as the Pat Rev Corporal Beast. Very interesting. Tormented Demons with, of course, the Dragon Claws drop on this source. Then Venonatus Vedian, Vorago, the brand new boss with the Drygor items. And finally, Zora. Alright, let's teleport to Vorago so we can have a look at this bad boy as well. As you can see, it's very clean. Uh, the graphics and everything, I'm a big fan of this. This was probably the, my favorite time of RuneScape. This is when I was playing also the original game. And uh, on the real RS. And yeah, dude. This is Vorago. So let's go ahead and attack this bad boy. Oh shit, is he not gonna attack us? No way, I think he's like stuck or something like that. Holy shit, imagine killing it with level 3, dude. Virago kill level 3, that would be insane. Of course, there is a fully custom training zone as well for you bad boys. When you log in for the first time, column, column, train to teleport to this place here. It looks like a dungeoneering place, kind of-ish thing. And uh, you guys find a bunch of rock crabs. They, this is fully AFK, by the way. You literally just have to attack them once and then they're gonna start attacking you. And yeah, you can like go to the all different rooms with a bunch of different NPCs. And again... All these skills are working, so summoning fully working with all the different uh, summoning pads, as well as freaking dungeoneering. I haven't done dungeoneering in a long while, and it's actually I I would love to get back into some dungeoneering grind. And as you can see, everything is literally working. The interface, everything is just so beautiful. And uh, yeah, you guys can see everything right here. Like the chaotic weapons, obviously the one you want to grind for from dungeoneering, summoning all the different. Follows you guys can spawn, of course, the Steel Titan on level 99. Pack Egg also 96. Dude, this is very nostalgic to me. I haven't played a previous server in a very long time. And, uh, yeah. If you guys would like to check out the server, the links are going to be in the description, of course. Again, a lot of custom content on a previous server. Very cool to see. And uh, if you guys would like to give a server a uh, try, the links will be in the description. That's going to be it about this little showcase here. I hope you enjoyed it, boys. Again, don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. Like the video, comment your game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And yeah, if you want to give the server a try, again, links in the description, boys. I'll see you later, and thanks for watching, and peace out.